E Hirik E A Sere A E Sego E A Patach A A Kamat A U Shuruk U O Cholam O Cholam O So here it's just the dot above without the vav underneath it. U Kubutz U I Shva I And sometimes Shva is silent. If you have two Shvas in a row, the first one is silent. The second one makes the I sound. And sometimes the Shva will pair up with another vowel. So the, it will look like there's two vowels under one letter. The Shva and something else like E or A. Uh, when the Shva pairs with another vowel, it has the name of that vowel plus the word Chatach. So Chatach Patach or Chatach Segol. That just means there's a Shva with that vowel. It doesn't really affect the pronunciation of that vowel. It's pronounced as if there were no Shva with it. E, Chatach Segol, E, just like the one with only three dots. Chatach Patach, A, Chatach Patach, is the Patach with the Shva, still sounds like A. This is Chatach Kamatz, and it's always an O sound, it's never an A. When it's got the Shva next to the Kamatz, it's always O. Kamatz Katan, O, like in Kol. And sometimes the font doesn't show the difference between the O and the A. Ah. Here it looks more like a raindrop to show it's the O, the Kamatz Katan, rather than the regular Kamatz that makes the A. Ah. I, Kamatz followed by a Yud, is usually I and often found at the end of a word, like Adonai. I, Oi, Ui, Av, like Elohav. And lastly, when you have a word that ends with the letter Chet, and it has the Patach vowel underneath it, the vowel that looks like a horizontal line, instead of saying Cha as the end of the word, you say Ach. So an example is instead of pote ha, you say pote ach. This is called a patach ganuv, meaning a stolen patach that's added to the end to make the word easier to say.